Welcome back, guys. All right. On this video, I'm going to show you how to place a GSI image. Any Android version, Android 10, 11, 12, or Android 13. Uh, your Android version, the MIUI version, for Android 10, you can press uh, GSI Android 10, Android 11, GSI Android 11, MIUI Android 12, you can press uh, GSI Android 12 or 13. So, this is a sample of the GSI image on this Redmi 10X 5G. Okay, let's go to the OS. One thing good, you don't need to flash G app, the Google GMS on the China version. That's a headache, especially the MIUI, the Chinese version. All right, how to flash first, how to restore the stock image. First, I power off the device. No wired connection connecting to the device. For this, you need the fast boot ROM. I'm using this uh, Android 12 Atom image version 13. You can use the uh, Android 11 version 12, MIUI 12, but that one you only can flash JSI uh, Android, uh, GSI Android 11 or 12 only. For this version 12, MIUI 13, you can flash the JSI Android 12 and Android 13. That's uh, different when you are playing game on Android 11 and Android 12. Right. How to flash this uh, fastboot ROM? This is the sample of the fastboot ROM. Actually, you don't need any tool. The Mi Flash tool and another one for MediaTek. What you call that tool? Mm forgot already so it's very easy first boot to pass boot you hold the volume minus volume plus volume minus and power button hold volume minus on the power button push power button on release power button and now you are on fast boot we're going to flash the MIUI 13 firmware and Android 12 it's very easy just double click the flash all there is three option here one is flash all except storage and another one flash all and lock this is a window patch if you look at the oh sorry the command you can do it manually fast boot flash lk2 lk image and that's it same But the best way is use it on window batch file, right? The pawn already in a fast boot mode. 
just double click this flash all see very easy no tool needed if you use the tool sometimes you get error when the error happen your phone may corrupt the partition when the partition corrupt the only way to flash is via EDL because you don't have the fast boot on the device that's very troublesome so get the fast boot ROM and double click flash all or flash all accept storage and flash all lock ROM you can download over here get the passport ROM not the recovery ROM this is all the latest update redmi not 10 it bet this one is uh, Android 12 also it's flashing the super image now Okay, type here then hack 5G stable is fast boot 1302 what I'm using now 1302 this one is a recovery and uh, weekly better use the stable version right link for the GSI image also in the description below you can use this one the pixel experience download the uh, arm 64 this one is a full package slim a bit uh, less the GMS app and another GSI image over here there is under 13 this one also okay but uh, customization uh, a bit less on this compared to the spark os this one is a bit better spark os okay i will show you two yes i image i flash it first we flash this one better error OS and then after that we flash Android 13 this one Android 12 Spark OS Android 13 very easy to flash and also you will not get in trouble just remember don't use the me flash tool double click you will see this uh, black screen command prompt windows it will run automatically it will detect the pawn because there is a safety mechanism in the command here it will check whether the correct firmware to the correct pawn 
if the wrong font, wrong firmware, then it will not start. And also, there is no anti rollback on this uh, Redmi 10 X 5G Diamond City 820. You can downgrade to Android 10, Android 11, Android 12. Same procedure, procedure, just click the flash all. That's it. On some phone, there is a anti rollback. But for this Redmi 10 X, no rollback. See, zero. If you see, there is a three. You cannot go to two or one. Zero. That means you can flash any ROM as you like. Right. We almost finish. Now, see, you can disconnect the cable, but I don't want to disconnect it because I want to charge the phone. Very easy to flash this uh, passport ROM on the MediaTek. On the Snapdragon, also, same thing also. Just double click any three of the command. Flash all. Flash all except storage and flash all lock. Don't use the me flash tool or the MediaTek flash tool. Once you get the error, then very troublesome. And after this, we flash the GSI image. On the global version Xiaomi device, no problem with the uh, Google, only for this China version. It's a bit tricky to install the Google apps, all the components, the GMS, especially Android 12. Because we need to download the Google app from the China server. So, the workaround flash GSI image. That's it. When you flash the GSI image, it don't disturb any other partition. We only replace the system image only after this the phone will boot you will see all the plot way on this ROM The command pretty uh, simple. First, disable the verification. You're going to flash the BB Meta image and then reboot to fast boot. The normal fast boot in orange color, the fast boot D blue color, erase the system, erase the product partition flash the system and format the user data partition and reboot that's it no recovery needed if you want to root the phone you get the boot image 
from your password ROM. Let's say just now we flash this get the boot image, copy it to your pawn, flash the magis, get the patch boot image. You will see the boot image will be patched by the magis and then flash this boot image in uh, fast boot mode. Very simple to do the routing. Okay, we copy this uh, boot image over here. After this, I'll show you how to root. the first boot may take time maybe five to ten minutes another GSI also I already test without problem over here don't have the Android 13 only Android 12 because another reason we have to flash the GSI image there is no custom ROM on this let me turn it you see all the tiny character how many language Chinese this one also Chinese or Taiwan not sure English Russian, I think the lowest one. They are up Russian. You will see all the plot wear, a lot of plot wear. You will see the storage that it used. You hold on. Why? Why it is in Chinese? While transfer space that it use for the blood way you see out of 106 GB 97 left that mean how many gigabyte of useless app for Chinese people this app uh, very useful in their country but for us outside of China it pretty useless so to place the GSI check first is it on the top damn don't want to see under top 8 GB plus 3 GB. This 3 GB maybe just a gimmick, right? Disconnect. You see, just now 97. Hmm. 
power of same thing to boot to fast boot come on my camera sorry about that right call the volume minus push the power button release power button now we are in a fast boot connect the cable for the driver right sorry device manager I'm using a standard Android bootloader I'm not using the MediaTek right we are in a fast boot now so open your folder where you put your all your GSI image all of these are boot on this uh, MediaTek Android 12 already test all okay except for the storage external storage this SD card if your SD card formatted to expect it can read only it read the FAT32 SD card or if you format your SD card to NTFS then it will read okay the command pretty simple right on this folder hold the shift button on the left of the keyboard shift button hold it right click your mouse open powershell here you will get this uh, blue screen powershell window this one also can be used but better use a powershell than this command prompt right first we're going to flash the bb meta the bb meta image you can get from your fast boot from image here this one you can get use this one actually for Xiaomi device this BB meta are all the same image because it disable the verification to flash the system right first command just copy and paste very simple copy and paste will see it flash over here and enter oh sorry sending bb meta right and then we're going to boot to fast boot fast boot reboot fast boot this one is a fast boot d pass and enter see the phone will reboot to fast boot D the blue color just now it's orange color waiting for device now fast put D fast put D this mean we are in a dynamic partition D that must mean dynamic because we need to flash the system right already fast boot and then we erase the system fast boot erase system don't don't use the format erase if you use format then you will format the other partition there is many partition inside this uh, dynamic partition maybe 9 or 10 partition inside this dynamic partition okay finish and then delete this uh, product partition command for this I will put 
in the description below just copy paste to your notepad I already delete this uh, product partition now we're going to flash the GSI image password flash system copy paste over here there is a space space and choose your image we flash the under 12 first after this we flash the under 13 this one the arrow os pull it over here and there is a space here and enter See, it's writing the thirteen. This include the system extension, the system system extension, the product, the product extension. After that, this is a must format the user data. On some website that I read them using the recovery to format this also can be used, but that one very tricky because the recovery are in Chinese better use the command here in the fastboot eight of thirteen you can change the GSI image anytime the command are the same all of this checkers copy and paste copy first is one two three four five six and reboot very simple erase the system erase the products partition flash the system format the user data the metadata and reboot almost done 12 of 13 After this, we'll see how much space left from your internal storage. Okay, we already finished pressing system. Now we're going to format the user data. See, it's erasing user data, the cache, and another one, metadata. Okay, finish. That's it. Very simple and reboot. Senang kan? Mudah. Daripada install custom ROM. Kadang-kadang bila kamu buat silap, habis. Pening kepala. Rather than flashing a custom ROM, very troublesome. Once you make a mistake, then you will get headache how to recover the pawn back to unbreak it. See, booting very fast. Arrow OS. After this, we press this uh, Android 12. We use the Android 13. At the moment, we're using the Aero OS Android 12. Vanilla. This one, all the Google are just basic. The camera are okay. Actually, no problem with the camera. 
the only problem this camera that are getting the image not correct the color should be red Right. Very simple. So far, no problem with this one. You need to log into your Google account because I haven't logged in. So now we're going to flash the Android 13 same procedure one thing you can fast faster reboot to fast boot power off you restart but after you restart hold the volume minus restart hold the volume minus we will get into fast boot I forget to see the storage. Okay, never mind. We on it back. How much storage that it use compared to the MIUI? Oh, hold the three button together. Never mind. Push a command here. Password. Cause the power button a bit slow the response. How much left user data compared to the MIUI 13 just now you see the MIUI 13 using 97 GB out of 1 to 8 how many are there? Okay. this one is the storage, external storage Reconnect Charging File Transfer See, 105 of 105 Really blank It didn't use any of your user data storage to compare to MIUI 97 GB free space this one 105 you see how how many 8 GB of bloodware yeah pretty useless app right now flashing back the MI uh, sorry the G Android 13 GSI restart hold the volume minus to boot into fast boot now we are in fast boot same procedure first flash this disable uh, verification of copy and paste here right second one reboot to Passport D Enter We test this one uh, Spark OS 113 Waiting for device Right Erase the system
the that erase the product this product uh, the Google app system is a system okay already did it now we're going to flash the system copy so I don't forget to put the space over here space the spark OS Android 13 copy here pull it and enter don't worry about this embedded sparse file format the header this one 14 just now 13 this one more Android 13 after that format the user data and reboot that's it very simple very very simple less problem driver don't forget put loader this is a must by the way I'm using Android uh, eh, sorry I'm using a uh, window 11 on window 7 window 8 window 10 window 11 same thing except this window 11 it's a bit tricky to install the drivers all the driver for this android 8 fastboot b is a dynamic partition the device with slot a and b only fastboot not the d the fastboot D for the dynamic partition for example Redmi Note 9S Redmi 10 Redmi Note 10 they are using the dynamic partition this is your procedure to flash on the dynamic partition You can uh, back up your system, the original system, the MIUI 13. Connect to Fastboot and you can pull the system. But better not. <laughs> it's a lousy MIUI. Okay, already finished. Now format the uh, use uh, data this one is a must otherwise you will get a boot loop enter use the data the cache the metadata this metadata contain your picture all right fast boot reboot that's it very very easy even uh, Grade 1 student can do it. Grade 2, grade 3, grade 4. If you get a boot loop, it's keep on uh, restarting. That means a uh, problem with that JSI image. Boot back to. This is the. What I try to call the stock uh, recovery. This one is a MIUI recovery. So choose the second one. One, two, enter. Use your power button, and then the second one again. Enter, and the second one again. Enter, and then it will format the. Okay, this one just enter power button, and then on this one, first option. This one is a restart first option. I can read Chinese actually. 
because different Android version from 12 to 13 that will happen it will boot to recovery the stock recovery now it will boot to Android 13 well, this is the problem ok we try other JSI don't worry about this uh, what is this hold the volume minus we are going to restart it password if that happen repeat the process copy and then reboot to password T sometimes the GSI uh, not booting not all uh, booting Android 12 are okay the Android 13 a bit problem on MediaTek on Snapdragon no problem at all okay we are in the password T ERAS system It is the product copy now we're going to press the system space okay, I'll speed that in this one I think this one I'm putting GSI This one is a release for Okay, enter beta 4 this one beta 1 the last beta uh, after the 4 there is a stable version this one the uh, Google Google GSI this one is a custom spark OS this one is custom also this one yes I think this one booting except this spark OS this spark OS only on Snapdragon. Just remember you download the ARM64. All of these are ARM64. There is a slim. This one is slim. This be this one is a full version. If you like the pixel experience, this one are much better. The only problem uh, less customization compared to the CR Droid, this one better. Side Droid. More customization. After this, we press, uh, we format the uh, user data actually when uh, everything ok it will straight boot to the system it's not going back to the recovery when it going back to recovery there's been a problem there when there is a problem just put back to fast boot format user data finish and reboot let's see if this one okay
when it's okay it will boot straight to the system you will see the boot animation see android just now i know that one will not boot just to show you how to recover it. the only problem with this uh, 113 GSI less customization this is a standard Google OS connect to my Wi-Fi and that I think the speed when you play the XNS more stable the 113 compared to 112. Uh, I don't want to log into my Google account. Just skip. the icon uh, square squarish you can uh, change the icon shape everything okay the camera So, which one you prefer, Android 12 or Android 13? This one is a full chip. Everything there, all Google Maps, Google uh, Photo, Google Movie. If you are lucky, you can see your face there. Or your girlfriend face. M, M and M. 69. Yeah. okay that's it very easy hope you learn something how about the other driver on my system the driver uh, let's see the media tech this one the pretty useless not in use actually me flash the useless uninstall one is a must minimal ADB you must install Python no media tech driver 
but I received the update for the video tech. because this window 11 uh, really good let's see the driver update media taxi it will automatically update the good driver for your PC this one is uh, LG Qualcomm 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 that's that's another good thing about Windows 11 the update whatever driver on your system it will get try to get the best driver for you well that's it And once again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.